Good evening, I'm Tracy there in for Scott Hennessy tonight. Short term rentals are still a hot topic along the coast and the city of Santa Barbara plans to continue a program that keeps an eye on them. The Santa Barbara City Council received an update on a pilot program launched last year that kept an eye on short term rental enforcement. The city learned that short term rentals aren't always permitted and they aren't always by the beach. A lot of people are very upset about all these Airbnbs in their neighborhood. We have six new ones this week in ours alone. The pilot program allows people with reservations about them to complain via a hotline or online portal. Some people who say they have short term rentals next door say they're now reluctant to use them. Uh, I used to like the idea of it when it was in someone's home and um, that you could like visit a place and be like in a neighborhood, but I'm even hesitant to do, to do that now because it disrupts a neighborhood energy even if you're, someone lives in the home. The city council voted unanimously to extend the program for another year. A look back at the enforcement program showed that there are uh, over about 1,200 or more uh, short-term vacation rentals both inland and in the coastal zone. So we really need to look at if we have the right tools right now to uh, address those. A handful operating without a permit have faced fines, plus taxes and fees. The council will take up the issue again in June. And are we really meeting the needs of the community in terms of housing and enforcement? And so we're going to have a discussion on June 11th on getting all the information and then giving direction to staff on what we'd like to see to make uh, improvements. It's not clear how Airbnbs or VRBOs or other short-term rentals impact hotels, but they are clearly part of the lodging reality in places such as Santa Barbara that people want to visit.